I have her there, and I so I have her like this. So I'm gonna say hold it, don't let it pull, pull up. Okay, so I push down on my thumbs, and I pull up on my hands like this. Okay, you pull up on your... Yeah, so it looks like this. So I'm rotating, okay? Now the gravity eliminated position is going to be with her hand like this. Oh, so, yeah, I'm we'll sorry, way to go. Okay, so then um, for wrist extension, I'm gonna ask her to move her wrist back and hold it. Good, so that's a three plus, so now I can apply resistance, right? So then, relax. This is, okay. this is extension? Mm -hmm. Yep. So then I ask her to bring her wrist back up. I stabilize the wrist. I put my hand like that, okay? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And I say, don't let it push down, okay? And so I'm pushing down with my whole palm like that. Okay. So for these, do you not start in like a halfway position? Like you these you don't need to. Okay. okay. So in all of them you can have your, the whole arm can be extended. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? So you start here and then you do that. Yep. Okay. And then for uh, gravity eliminated for extension is going to be this way. So I'm going to ask her to move her hand back. Okay. Now, ulnar and radial deviation. <laughs> so for radial deviation, I'm going to ask her now to bring your wrist in towards your thumb. Okay, she can do it and she can sustain it, right? Now you can do it like this, but like I said, gravity doesn't have much of an influence. So she can go through the full range and hold it, and it's a three plus, right? So, um, so then I ask her to relax. So now I'm going to apply resistance. So then move your hand in. I stabilize at the wrist. I put my hand here. You see that? Oh, I'm grabbing her mm -hmm. inside. Her, you don't want to grab her fingers because right. you're crossing more than one joint. I'm grabbing inside her web space with my thumb. I'm grabbing on the side of her hand. I'm going to say, don't let me pull out. Okay. So is there a gravity eliminated for this one? 